Hey everybody, it's Frank Spear. Welcome to the first episode of Analyzing Van Halen. And what we're going to do in this video series is analyze Van Halen songs. Eddie loves to play in the key of E and the key of A, and most of these songs from the first six albums with David Lee Roth are written in those two keys. Now occasionally he's in D or he's in G, but he loves A and E. I've heard that referred to as the key of Van Halen, either one of those, E or A. Of course, Eddie is tuned down a half step, so it's E flat and A flat, um, theoretically. I've never seen a video series do this. There are tons of videos teaching you the songs. Um, some guys are just covered, they're just covered tunes, so they're just playing it, and you watch them and you learn it, and other guys are breaking it down note for note, usually fret for fret, which I hate. Fret for fret, I mean, if you want to learn it and you need to learn it slowly and you can't learn it by watching the covers that are playing in real time, even if you're slowing it down, there are guys that break it down. Okay, first finger, fifth fret, second, uh, you know, B string, uh, fourth finger, sixth fret, uh, you know, high E string, that kind of stuff. I can't, I can't personally, I can't sit through that stuff. And you're not learning anything about how the songs are put together. You're just learning how to play them, but you don't know why. <laughs> you don't know why you're playing what you're playing. So I want to rectify that in this video series calling, uh, called Analyzing Van Halen. And we're going to do for the first tune, we're just going to pick a random song here. We're going to do Beautiful Girls. It's in the key of E. Surprised? It's in the key of Van Halen. And uh, we're going to look at every note Eddie plays and why he plays it and how it fits into the key of E. Even at times he seems to play chords that aren't in the key that he's in. How does that work? And why does that work? So we're going to look at that as well. So let's get right to it. By the way, this is my CHS 5150 Stealth. It's a CHS custom guitar, as you can find them on Facebook. The guitar is absolutely stunning. It's stupefying. It's magnificent. Um... This guy, Craig, builds them. He's in New York State, Craig Stofko. You can find him, CHS Custom Guitars on Facebook and contact him in Messenger there, and uh, he'll get started on yours. I mean, out of all the guitars I own, and uh, I'm not uh, endorsed by Craig or anything like that. I don't get any kickbacks for these, anything like that. But out of all the guitars I own, I think currently I have 17. I've been playing since I was 12, 42 years. This is the slinkiest. It's the rubber bandiest, which I love. N none of my other guitars even come close in terms of. Just got it, man. So let's get right to it. We're going to break down Beautiful Girls. Okay, we're going to look at each part. So it starts off on what note? Surprisingly. E. Okay, what's happening there in that first part of the tune? He's starting on the E note, and he's working his way up to F sharp, which is the second note in the E major scale. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do in E, may E major. Do, Re, Re is F sharp. F is not in the key. It's what we call a chromatic note. It's in between the notes that are in the key. Okay? So he's using that to jump to a note that is in the key. From, from a note that's in the key to a note that's not in the key to a note that's in the key. Now, if he stopped on F, not in the key. All right? So he's going from E to F sharp. That's an A chord. Is A in the key of E major? One, two, three, four. It's the fourth of E. All right? So yes. Then 
then he grabs another F sharp note down low here with his thumb. So, another F sharp. Does that twice? Then you got, it does it, I'm sorry, it goes to G this time. Now watch this. G is not in the key of E major, but it's in the key of E minor. It's the third. It's in the key of E major, G sharp is the third. But in the key of E minor, we flat the third, or when we make a key minor, we flat the third. We drop it down a half step. So instead of so Eddie mixes major and minor all the time. That's the blues. That's what we're doing in blues. When we're playing a blues scale. If we're playing over an A major chord. I'm playing E minor there, and I'm playing that minor third against that major chord. That's what makes it the blues. That's what makes it blue. It gives it that from this uh, major third to the minor third. That's how we get the blues. There it is again. That's the minor third to the root in A. Here's the major. Minor. Eddie mixes them. All the time. You'll see in this song he's got C chord, a G chord. Those are not in the key of E major, but they are both in the key of E minor, the Aeolian mode, which is the natural minor scale. So Eddie switches between whether whatever key he's playing in. If he's playing in A, he switches between A major and A minor with notes and chords. Same thing at any key he's in. So he's switching between... That's key to understanding Eddie in any key. It's key to analyzing Van Halen, to Van Halenizing these songs, right? There's that G. This is an E chord, a partial E chord he's pulling off to. It's an open E, a B, which is the fifth of E, and then another E. It's used as a sub for this, you know, uh, very common E major chord. Right? Just like you're playing A here. Just moving it down. Stevie Ray. Okay. So. Here. That's a double stop. A little partial two note chord. D. And G. Right? Is D in the key of E major? Nope. But it's in E mixolydian, <laughs> which basically just means you, instead of the seventh in the key, you flat the seventh, just like you flat the third to make it minor. So it's like we're back to the E minor scale. Let's look at it that way. Forget mixolydian for now. We're back to the E minor scale. We get that flat seventh in there, which is D. So it's, again, Eddie using the minor scale. Uh, and the major scale of E. So you get, you can either get, or, all right, so he's doing that here. He's got D, and he's got a G. Both come out of the E minor. So, Pulling off to that, we'll call it a D chord, right? Or well, let's call it a G chord because it's the D and the G. It's like a G. It's like a G. It's like a root and a five. We're just playing it from the D instead. 
you can call it a D4 chord or you can call it a G major chord or G5 chord. It doesn't matter. I'm, it just think about the notes that he's playing. If all you remember from this video is whatever key Eddie is in, he mixes the major and the minor scales to create chords and solos and licks. All right, so he pulls off from that chord to the E and then sliding from D to E. Again, like he did here, how he went chromatically from E to F sharp using the F that's not in the key to get to the F sharp that is in the key. He does the same here by using the E flat to get to the E. So he goes D, E flat, E, or D, D sharp, E. Eddie's huge on this. You see a lot of chromatics in Eddie's playing up. Right? He, li he loves to just chromatically walk up. Chromatic means no particular scale. You're just using every note in a row. Right? So you've got A to A. A, A, every note in between. All 12 notes, that's chromaticism. You throw it in, partially. If you're playing a blues lick. So I throw them in all, the, all over the place. You'll hear Eddie do that all the time as opposed to... He's always... He's in the key of A here. Those are the notes in the key. But he puts the in-between notes in. Okay, so he's doing the same thing here. All right, so we got... In the key of E, minor, he uses the minor chord, D, there, from E minor. The flat seven. To get to the namesake of the key, the E chord. You get home. Next time he walks it down, he goes from D to C sharp to B. Now C sharp is the third, the major third in the key of E. Eddie will use the C sharp in this song, but he'll also use the C, which is the minor third in the key of E. Right? So you get the major third and the minor third. Then he walks that down to the B, which is the fifth in the key of E. So all these notes, all these chords in the key of E. Right? Then you've got the I see sad sitting just smoking. That whole section, right? So we got... I don't think that G is in there, but I like it. I just like that. I think he just goes... Alexa, turn on the light. Getting dark out there. Got to hurry up here. We can still see the fingerboard. All right, so here... Playing an E chord, like we talked about before. Just those three chords. Right? All right, so E. Now he's got a C sharp and an E. All right, where you talked about C. And he's got D and F sharp. So we already know how these um, notes are working in the scale. We talked about these already. You got the D is the major seventh. 
minor seventh, sorry. And then you've got the F sharp. Which is the two. E, F sharp, D. Sorry, let me do it again. D, D, F sharp, C sharp, E. Right? Then you've got this B note and a low E to make the E chord. So really, if you want to look at it like this, he's playing E, C sharp minor, to D. He's just using partial chords. I always pull that off to G to open E. Then he hits the open E and B strings. Sort of like he does in... Well, he doesn't pull off to the... He doesn't hit the open E and B there, but he loves to do that little... You'll hear Eddie do this a lot in songs. Because he's in the key of E almost all the time. Even if he's in A, that would work. Because if he's in the key of E and he hits the open E and B, right? He's hitting the root of the key and he's hitting the fifth of the key. If he's in A, he's hitting the fifth, which is E, and the second, which is B. So if we hit, if we play an E chord and play that, it works. But if we go to an A chord and we do it, it still works. It's all in the key. They're all in key. They all work with each other. All right, so we've got that, those parts. And then we've started with the... Uh, Oh, we got the verses. Now we go to this uh, sweet talking honey with a little bit of money, right? That's how it goes. So there he's going, he's pulling off from C to B to G. C, B, A, G. C is in the key of E minor. B is in the key of E minor or major. It's in both. A is in the key of E. Right? E major or minor. <laughs> It's the uh, fourth, no matter what. And then G is in the key of E minor. So he's doing an E minor lick to get to this uh, A chord. It's the A and the F sharp in the bass. Just like... He's doing that now for the other section. Just sweet talking honey with a little bit of... Then he does the same thing. He just drop, goes up to the to, uh, next set of strings. And then does it on B. Play him the B chord between that B and F sharp note. And there he does the... He does it from the F to the E to the D to the, to the C. Now F is not in the it's not in the key of E major, but it is in the key of E minor. It's the sixth. One, two, three. So you get it here. I'm sorry, I screwed up there. F is not in the key of E major or minor. It's in a, another key completely in a Phrygian mode, but that just means the second note of the scale is flatted. So we got E to F sharp. You flat that F sharp. 
and bring it down to F. You get very Randy Rhodes, very gothic, very metal. Using that flat two or flat nine. So, but again, Eddie uses it basically as a passing tone. He's just on it for a second, getting to that C. So it's a... part is let me remember how it goes hold on a second okay the next part is here I am with your head up the world whatever the words are doesn't put any vibrato actually these I'm straight so what is he doing there he's guys playing an E chord back to the same E very similar to the fourths we talked about before he's got a they're all in the key of E here he's got a C sharp which is in the key of E major he's got an F sharp which is in the key of E major so he's got this so he goes from the E chord to that little partial C sharp chord. Or you can look at it as an F sharp major. However you want to do it. Then he moves it up from the to a D with a G. These are smoke on the water chords. those everywhere and he uses it later in a song when he goes he uses those everywhere in a ton of songs as well I mean it's a blues thing them everywhere right so instead of playing say c d e in a song you could play the c with the fourth in it the d with the fourth in it and the e with the fourth in it so instead of you could play you can mix them up so, Eddie's still in the key of E, right? So he's going from E to A. The E chord to the A chord, right? The one to four, classic blues stuff. To the B, to the A. Here he's just going. Just another way of doing that. Right? You got F sharp and B. Both in the key of E, so you got an A chord. You got F sharp and B. Both in the key of E. And then you've got G in the key of E minor. And C in the key of E minor. Eddie's playing this slick and this slick together. So he's playing.
right? So if we were writing our own song and we were playing off the off E. We could use those in licks and in solos. All right, that's how we rob these things. We steal them and we make our own tunes out of them. Take these. Right? Right? We can mix everything that we've learned so far. Got that. And after, okay, so the next part, we're almost done here. Want to keep these videos to about a half hour. Uh, let's see, the next section is. That's the beautiful girl section. So it's a G major chord, right? Coming out of the key of E minor. Now technically, even in the key of E minor. All right, forget what I was going to say there. This is a G major chord. Okay, uh, works in the key of E minor. It's that flat third. C, D, but he puts the G and the A in the bass. Eddie does that a lot too. He's playing these bar chords, these major bar chords starting from the fifth string. A lot of times he'll add the low bass note in there. All right, which is just the fifth down an octave. So he puts the fifth in the bass. So if he's playing a C chord, he'll throw that G in there, the low G. If you're playing a D chord, throw the low A. Play an E chord, throw the low B. They sound cooler then. Sounds very Van Halen already, just doing that. So you've got that section. Then he's got the solo, which I'm not really going to break down, but he, I, I don't really remember it note for note, but I know that he, the note's basically in it, right? Starts on an A note. He uses the bar. I think he starts on a C, actually, then he goes to A. So in the key of E, starts on that minor uh, C again, which is the minor six. It's a sixth in the minor scale of E. And then A, which is the fourth. Then he goes to the, to the note E, to F sharp. And I think he bends the F sharp up to A. So you see, you recognize all the same notes, right? You recognize E, F sharp, C, G, A, D, right? Eddie loves to play in these fourths. He'll write whole songs using these fourths. <laughs> You know, literally use all those chords in a song. E to B, to D to A, to C to G, to B flat to F. You know, they may not even all be in the same key or they're between major and minor, but he doesn't care. You know?
we'll get to that song. Running with the devil, these kind of chords. So we're almost finished with this tune right here. At the oh, the notes in the solo. Then he does something, he moves up here. I've always loved that riff. So he's got this A note. He's got this A note that he bends up to B. Then goes back to the B. Then he takes this E note. Bends that up a whole step to F sharp. So you see what he's doing here? It's all the same notes. Okay, A to B, E to F sharp. We talked about that before, which he does in some lick. Same thing there, he's got those same notes, F sharp down to E, when also included in that is the D down to C. So it's like... It's like this. So I hope a lot of the mystery is coming out of this for you. I mean, Eddie was a bona fide genius at taking these simple chords uh, based on major and minor scales. They're rock chords. They're just straight ahead major and minor chords and little pieces of the chords and creating these astonishing melodic phrases like that. You know? People will go, oh, that's just A to E to D. Yep, so what? Yeah, you write it. Where's your tune that sounds like that? <laughs> well, you, you name 99% of rock guitar players don't write anything that memorable. They've got all these chords in their bag, too. But Eddie was constantly, who wrote, uh... <laughs> That's Eddie writing all that, right? It's E chords and D chords and C sharp minor chords and B chords and A chords, right? There it is again, all the same chords in these songs. This guy could take the same chords over and over and over again and come up with... Uh, I can't. Can you? <laughs> I mean, these songs go down in history. I'm out of tune a little. These songs will go down in history because he could keep taking these same five or six or seven chords and reworking them into a million hits. He did it with licks, too. He would take, the, say, the A minor pentatonic scale. Right? We could sit there for months, for years with that scale and try to come up with licks, Eddie would sit down and go. Right? I mean, we can go on. We'll, we'll get to each of these songs. But you see what's happening here is using the, 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 the everyday stuff to create non-everyday melodies. It's all about melody for Eddie. It's always about melody for Eddie. So I think I've covered all the parts. I know at the end, he, uh, he on the outro, he does a bunch of different things. Right? He'd go, oh, yeah. That, when it's going, ah, yeah, beautiful girls at the end. Ah, yeah, beautiful girls. I love them. I need them. All the he does all something different every time. He's he's trilling the E string. 
and just whip it. Then he might go. Play some kind of E minor pentatonic lick or an F sharp minor pentatonic lick, which I think he also does in the solo after the. Uh, play something like that. Then he goes. So that coming, uh, the ending, the solo lick. Uh, I mean, I didn't relearn these songs. I learned them a while back, and I recall most of it, but I might not get everything exactly right. But again, that's not the point. The point is to see uh, how he's using the notes and the chords, right? So we got to end the solo. What is it again? Just like we talked about the chromatics before. He's going from B to A, and then walking down chromatically. To that B. To that E chord. Then starting the lick over from the intro, using it again. He does all kinds of stuff at the end. Again, that chromatic stuff, I'm making that up. I know he does something like that. But that you could start, almost start and end anywhere. Because it's just chromatic. It's just, it's a, it's a more of a feeling than it is notes in a key particularly, right? It's like going... Very sloppy. All right, well, that'll do it for today. I hope this uh, brought you some enlightenment analyzing Van Halen, episode one. Beautiful girls. And uh, as you're going through and you're learning Van Halen songs, or really anybody's songs, take a look at the notes. Take a look at the notes in the chords. Take a look at the notes in the licks. See how they're working together. Figure out what key it's in. If you don't know what key it's in, just Google it. You know, a lot of times it's easy. If you don't know the key, just type in the name of the song and sheet music. And then look at the sheet music and look at the key signatures. You can see what key it's in if you can read the key signatures. If not, just Google what key is this song in uh, if you have a trouble figuring out the keys. Anyway, check out these CHS guitars. They're amazing. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you next episode.